We interrupt your regular viewing to say thank you to our sponsor who is AMD. AMD wanting to make sure that you get the best performance out of your 5800X3D or actually pretty much any AMD CPU through BIOS updates as well as XMP. But thank you again to AMD. Let's jump straight back into the video. Welcome back to the channel guys. It's a little bit of a different scenery as you can see today and that's because we're going to be doing something a little different. Now this is going to be a series of call it tips and tricks and the first one we're going to be doing is updating your BIOS. Now there are a lot of people that say no if your BIOS is working keep it the same. No not really. What we have seen and I've actually proved in one of my videos I'll put a link to it in the description below is that updating your BIOS can actually cause a great many improvements in your system. So one of the things that we did see when doing the 5800X3D is we saw Cinebench results improving drastically from 11,000 to around 14,000 on multi-core performance. Now it's not just on actual performance on the motherboard, it actually also improves the correlation or the relationship between your system and RAM, more stability. And you would have seen when the first boards are brought out on DDR5, you actually needed to update your BIOS in order to get that stability from your system. So we're gonna do something simple today and that's gonna be updating your BIOS. Now I am doing it on an MSI board, but I am gonna try and show you all the different ways that you can with all the other different systems and just let you know from what I do know how to actually enact that. Okay, so first things first, open the browser of your choice. I'm using Chrome and I am using Google as a search engine. The first thing that you do is type in the board, the exact board that you have into the search engine. Now you will see here at the top, this is the exact version. And the reason that you want it to be exact is in the case of the X570S Edge Max Wi-Fi, there are different, there's a non-Wi-Fi version and a Wi-Fi version and the BIOSes are different. So you can't really install the incorrect BIOS, but this is just for safety, make sure that it is an exact word for word of what your motherboard is versus what it says on the product page. Now, once you are here, head on over to support. Once you're on the support page, you will see all the different downloads that you can, BIOS, driver, firmware, utility. You wanna stay here on BIOS. Now, the first version is a beta version. I do not recommend using any beta versions because, well, it's a beta version, especially for a BIOS. It's not the best idea because sometimes there are a lot of instabilities on it. So I will select the first non-beta version and these will even say what it does or what the BIOS improves. For example, here it says improve LAN and audio cannot work properly, update AMD combo AM4 and so on and so forth. It'll even say sometimes RAM stability and etc. So download the first non-beta version. Now we'll see that the download is here. We will right click and we will say show in folder, which will appear in your downloads folder. You can cut that or copy it, whichever is your preference, and then you will go into your USB. Now make sure that you do have a blank USB. I do have a Windows boot here. It will work just the same, but paste that right over there. And then what you wanna do is you want to extract it right here as well. Now, once it's extracted, you can go into the file. Sometimes they will have BIOS renaming, so we can see in here that there is none. There are some instructions that tell you what this BIOS updates. But as we can see here, no BIOS updating, and there is the exact BIOS that you need. Now, before we actually go and update the BIOS, I'm gonna show you how to do this on a couple more boards. Same thing with ROG, head on over to support. Now, when it comes to ROG, select here on driver and utility, and then select BIOS and firmware. This will ask you which Windows version if you're on driver at all, but on BIOS and firmware, it generally doesn't. You will see here, here's the latest version, but you can say show all in order to show the previous versions. And we will see that this one has a BIOS renomer. So let's download this one. Okay, the ROG is downloaded, so let's extract it. Now the ROG is extracted, we double click into there and we will see that there's a BIOS renamer application. What you wanna do here is this actually renames the BIOS file so that your BIOS is able to read it. So you'll just double click, make sure that these are in the same folders. So when you do extract, don't copy, don't paste, don't do anything with regard to the file, just leave it exactly as is. Click on the BIOS renamer 
and it'll open up this CMD prompt, push any key to continue, and you'll see that your BIOS has been renamed, and now your BIOS will be able to pick up this cap file. Same thing with Gigabyte, head on over to support, and you want to just scroll down on this page, and you will see their BIOS. It's not for 18 year olds, it's just 18 plus downloads. And then we can see here's the latest version. You can see that the date 2207.20 and there's a description and you can just download the latest non-beta version. Okay, same thing, paste it in to your USB, extract all the files and then you'll see there is the BIOS file. You can go through the readme and it will show you exactly what to do there as well. Now with Gigabyte, there are ways in order to actually update your BIOS from the actual Windows application that Gigabyte does have it. I don't have the ability to show you that today, but it is called EFI Flash, and it is one of the Gigabyte tools. Okay, next, make sure that your USB is plugged in to the motherboard at the back. Now, this is standard across every single manufacturer. The correct USB is a selection or section rather where the USB is outlined in white and it should say BIOS, but look at the back of your motherboard for the USB that is surrounded by a white line. Now, once that's done, we are going to restart our PC. Okay, next you wanna restart your PC and make sure that you are pushing delete or F10 in order to get into the BIOS. Sorry for the poor picture quality. I was literally taking a video of my screen and the sun was a little bit uh, intense, but it'll look like this and you can see, you will need to go to M flash and on a easy mode, I'll show you what that looks like just a little bit forward, it'll be their M flash. So this is what a MSI ClickBoss 5 looks like, but it just look for M flash, it's pretty standard on MSI boards. Now, once you hit M flash, your PC will automatically restart and take you into the BIOS updater. It is different on other motherboards. Now, just at a point of interest on other motherboards, you will also look for pretty much the same thing. It might be a flash utility or just an updater, BIOS updater. Pretty simple. If you don't know, just ask me in the questions below and I will give you a screenshot or image of exactly where you need to click for your motherboard manufacturer. Okay, we'll see that we're in flash mode and you can see that there's the USB. Now we can immediately see there is the new BIOS. So we'll go into that directory folder and we will select that BIOS 0.130, but I am installing the same version because I do keep my BIOS up to date, but same principle, it'll ask you, are you sure you wanna select this file? And you will say yes, and then it will go into BIOS updating. Now, very important, make sure that your PC is on backup power, UPS, if you're in South Africa, especially because this is not something that you want to fail or you cannot exit this. It's very dangerous for your computer unless you have dual BIOS where you can just delete the other one. Most PCs don't have that. That's generally on a Threadripper board or a X199, X299 type board. So rather just let this run its full process and restart. And once that's done, your BIOS is updated. Now, once your BIOS is updated, all of your XMP, all of your BIOS settings will have reverted to normal. So next, we're actually going to go through how to XMP your RAM and get the best value or the best speed out of your RAM, but that's going to be in the next video. Now, the reset will be exactly the same thing, and we will go straight into Windows from here. And... Now, what does happen on the new Windows, especially Windows 11, is once you've updated your BIOS, it will say, well, this is new technology or new components, so you will have to go and readjust your login settings to be able to get your PIN. So you just go through your Microsoft account if you are using legit Windows, which I hope you are. Once it's done, it'll send a verification through to your email. You put in the code that does come through your email, and once that's done, you'll see you can set up your new PIN, and once that's done, boom, you will be in Windows. And here we are back to where we were. Okay, so cap off, there we are guys. That is how you update your BIOS and be able to get the best performance out of your components. Now we will do the RAM XMP, which will come out a couple of days after this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please ask any questions in the comment section below. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers guys, goodbye.